So what do you get when you combine the Razor Blade 13 Stealth, a Razor Core X, an RTX 2060 graphics card, and Anthem? I'm talking about gaming nirvana. Let's find out how you mix all this together to give you the best portable in-home gaming system you can find. So what is this gaming nirvana? Well, it starts off with the Blade 13 Stealth. Now, the model I have here, which you've seen in this video, doesn't have a GPU built in, and that's fine, because I actually wanted to showcase the RTX 2060 graphics card, which is an awesome card to check out. Now, I combined this with the Razer Core X, of course, which means I pop in my graphics card in there, I slide it, close it up, and I connect it via a Thunderbolt uh, cable right to the two, one of the two Thunderbolt ports on this, car, on this uh, laptop. As a laptop, it's really nice. It's got about 13 hour battery life. I would say it's around 10 in my use case scenario for just regular use. Talking about gaming, you can probably play something really light like um, you know, Overwatch on here because it doesn't have a GPU. It's got the Intel integrated chip in here. But when you pack the power of the RTX 2060, and you decide to play Anthem, aka the beta in this case, then it's a whole different experience entirely. Now, Anthem as a game is, from what I played, I enjoyed it a lot. Now, as you guys know, at least some of you know, others don't know, I don't like Destiny, and this already feels better than Destiny. Gameplay is really smooth, it feels really nice, the mechanics are a little bit also much tighter from the beta off the bat. And also, some of the uh, abilities you can do are really, really solid. Gameplay is fantastic all the way through. I really enjoyed it. Now, how does the graphics card perform with this? And we'll spend some time and we'll show you some gameplay as well. We didn't do any benchmarks, but basically through our gameplay sessions, when we put it at high settings playing Anthem, we got about 35 to maybe 44 frames per second. When, of course, we got into deeper battle situations, it dropped down under 40. When you go into medium settings and uh, you cranked it up, you're doing about 55, 50 to 60 frames per second. So you can see how well the card handles, but there were no slowdowns. Even in medium settings or high settings, there were no slowdowns and it ran really smooth. Whew, man, I can't wait to check it out. Now, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys quickly is that if you're going to do this and if you have, say, a razor blade or core, you also want to combine it with your Philips Hue light so you get that nice ambient feel. Definitely check out my video on that. I did that last year. It's really cool, really sets up the gaming environment. Instead of me wrapping up this video talking about the laptop or the core or the graphics card, which is nice, how about I just show you how well this game looks, plays, laugh at my gameplay, and Always enjoy your entertainment. Good 
It's an archive. Let's see. 